everyone, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. Today I have a product demonstration of the Sculpey Clay Silkscreen Kit. It's something that I recently picked up at my local craft store. Uh, it's a relatively new product and I've been wanting to try silkscreening on polymer clay for quite a long time but haven't really had access to the materials. So it's kind of neat that this is all in a kit and I thought you'd enjoy seeing this demonstration. So welcome to my studio and let's get started. Okay, here's the clay silkscreen kit, and it comes in um, a seven-piece package. It's by Sculpey. Let's take a look inside and see what's in the package. The first thing is a set of four silkscreens, and these are really cool um, designs. Uh, there are four different um, sheets here, and um, the first one is of this really cool mandala, and it's got some really nice um, feather details uh, that I think is really going to be um, fun to see how that turns out. And then um, you have a very complex and detailed floral design. There's a bird and some leaves and some dragonflies and um, some floral elements. That, that's really cool. And then there are two sheets that have um, six designs each, and these are circles. These are about one and three quarters of an inch um, circular patterns, and you can see that you've got some really um, sharp details here. And then here's the, the fourth sheet. Also included in the package are two metallic paints. There's a silver metallic and a gold metallic. And there's a squeegee that we'll use and then a set of instructions. So before we get started, the one thing that I want to share with you is you do need to have a pan of water nearby because as soon as you're finished silk screening, you're going to want to get that uh, directly into some water so that you can clean your uh, silk screen. If the paint does dry, you'll ruin it. So you want to get it in there. Mine's right here off camera and um, I'll drop that in as soon as we are finished. I think that I'm going to try one of these pattern designs and um, I, really, I, I really want to try this one. So let's get this going. I've chosen to use black clay and I do use um, the Primo clay because I, I find that to be really the best for jewelry, uh, the jewelry work that I do. So um, we'll take our silk screen. And when you get the silk screen and you're ready to do this, there are actually two sides. This is the matte side, and then there's a shiny side. I don't know if you can see this, um, but it's got a shine to it, and the shiny side goes down. And so we'll just lightly smooth that on. And then I'm going to go ahead and try the gold uh, metallic paint. So we'll just shake that well. And um, one thing that I think is really cool is this precision tip. Um, I, I know that you can use lots of different kinds of paints, but this is really um, neat that it's in this type of, uh, of a dispenser. So you go ahead and put a bead of paint, and I'm being pretty generous with it, a bead of paint, and take your squeegee at about a 45 degree angle, and we're just going to pull that paint straight across the clay. And there's quite a bit of paint on here, so I'll just keep doing this until I feel like I've got all of the little threads, the little pores covered and if I do need more paint I can go ahead and add a bead of paint but this is actually um, looking pretty good so let me just drop my squeegee into my water and we're gonna go ahead and pull this off and see what this looks like I'm really anxious to see this oh my goodness let's get this in the water right away though guys so that it doesn't um, dry paint doesn't dry This looks fantastic. You can really see the image really well, and there's a lot of detail here, actually. So I, um, I'm really pleased with this. One thing I did note is that as you pull the paint through, there is a, a bit of texture um, because it's going through the, the pores of the silk screen, and I actually kind of like that. I, I like seeing the texture, so I think that's really a neat effect. Um, so I, I'm really thrilled with the way this turned out. I think it's really a neat uh, product. I got a little droplet of water there, so let me get that off. 
Okay, so what we need to do is go ahead and let this dry. And so I'm gonna put that aside because I did another one of the designs a little bit earlier and I thought I would show this to you because you're gonna love this. So this is actually that mandala design that I was telling you about and I did it on uh, fuchsia clay and I just ran um, it through with the silver and I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Very sharp, very crisp, great, great detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these pieces dry and we'll come back in just a few minutes and we'll cut them and give you a look at how they, uh, how they bake up. Be back in just a minute. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut these out. Now one thing that I will share with you is normally um, if I were to cut circles or any kind of shape with my cutter, I would actually be um, putting a sheet of plastic over it so I could get a nice beveled edge. But I did notice with these, um, because it's a paint applied to the surface, that um, when I did that, it actually lifted up the clay. So um, I don't recommend that you um, try to cut this with um, plastic over it, but you can kind of bevel the edge with your fingers uh, after you've cut it. So Sculpey also has these circle metal cutters and there's of course a perfect size to match these. And as I mentioned, these are about one and um, uh, three quarters of an inch. So I've got the circle cutter and it's really easy to just line these up and make your cut. And um, I'll show you in just a minute, I've got some that I've already baked up and actually applied um, an edge to and a little bit of um, a glaze uh, so that I could get a little bit of a shine on it. So really simple, cut those out. Oh my goodness, they look terrific, really. And then I'll just pull these up and get these on a tile so that I can get them in the oven. Okay, we'll go ahead and set these aside and I'll put those in the oven in just a little bit. And I actually have some that I have already baked. And as I mentioned, I... Um, I, I put a bit of a glaze on the, or a, a, a gold leaf edge with just a, a gold leaf pen. And then I put a little bit of a glaze so that I could get a nice shine. And I think actually these turned out absolutely beautifully. So I'm really anxious to see how they look in a necklace. I've done a couple of pieces I just wanna share with you and you can see how easy it is. These are just very simple uh, dangle earrings. So I cut these out of one of the um, floral uh, sheets and then just added a little eye pin and an ear wire. Here's a little um, simple window pendant uh, with two colors of clay and I just use cutters and a little pinch bail. And then here's the final one, which is just a sort of a funky abstract kind of pod uh, shape design. So it was really fun to use these and I'm really looking forward to trying them uh, out quite a lot more. I have lots of ideas uh, for how to use these. The last thing I wanted to uh, share with you, or one of the last things, because I've got one more little treat uh, tip coming up, is you'll notice that um, on the clay you'll have some extra metallic paint. Don't worry about that. Just condition it and you'll have just a little bit of sparkle from the mica from the paint, but it's no problem to just go ahead and reuse that clay. And I'll just set that aside because I'll be using that a little bit later. The last thing I wanted to share with you is a tip on storage. These silk screens are actually pretty delicate in terms of um, how you would store them. Uh, they'll last for a really long time if you take care of them. So I just got one of these photo uh, books, and this is a 5 by 7 um, and I just got it like at the dollar store or something like that. I think it, it only cost a dollar. And so it's really simple, but it's got these little sleeves in it and the five by seven side is perfect. So I can just go ahead and slip my silk screens in here and I have a really nice convenient way to store these. And if any more come out, I'll be sure to fill that up and um, take the opportunity to, to do that. So I'm really thrilled. Um, first of all, I wanted to just say I'm really thrilled with the way this product worked. I think it's a terrific kit. I love the way 
um, these turned out and the designs are great and I'm looking forward to seeing more designs from Sculpey. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. Uh, give, leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought and I'll look forward to putting some more of these together. Take care everybody.